Hello, I'm Dr. Mala and I'm an ophthalmologist and a cornea specialist working at Premier Neuro and Eye Care Centre located in Israel Layout, Bangalore South. LASIK is a laser eye surgery mainly used to correct the refractive errors or the focusing errors of the eye. As the name suggests, LASIK means laser assisted intrastromal keratomyelosis. Here, the laser, to be more specific, excimer laser, is used to mould the shape of the cornea. The cornea is a transparent tissue of the eye which is mainly important for your accurate vision. It has a very high refractive power of the eye and hence any laser that is used to mould the shape, we can correct the refractive errors of the person. The farsightedness, the cornea is moulded to become more flatter, a thin superficial flap is created on the cornea and the exposed stroma is now subjected to laser. The laser now removes or evaporates the tissues at a microscopic level and moulds the shape of the cornea at a very high precision level. The central part of the cornea is flattened in correction for myopia. The peripheral or the paracentral area is flattened and the central portion is then steepened when we correct hypermetropia. LASIK is a laser surgery. Practically speaking, it corrects all types of refractive errors of the eye, of course, with some exceptions. Now, LASIK was used to correct short-sightedness or myopia. It can also be used to treat hypermetropia or the farsightedness, astigmatism. And now, presbyopia also can be treated, including post-operative astigmatism that is induced. Now, how does LASIK correct myopia? Here, a corneal flap is created. A superficial layer is created and it is reflected. The exposed stroma is now subjected to laser. The stroma can be ablated in a pattern wise. If the central stroma is ablated, then the cornea becomes flat. A flat cornea corrects the myopia. When we flatten the peripheral or the paracentral area, the central portion of the cornea steepens and the peripheral flattens. Here, the hypermetropia is corrected. Astigmatism is where the cornea is irregular and similarly the irregular areas are smoothened out by the laser and so is presbyopia corrected accordingly. Lot of patients are in a hurry to get LASIK done and get rid of their glasses but there are certain criteria one has to meet before one can undergo LASIK. First and foremost is the age criteria. Beyond 18 years is what is fixed, but all said and done, the refractive errors progression has to stop. It has to attain a stable power. Hence, most of the time, uh, individuals stop growing by the age of 18 to 20. So this is the criteria set for age. Second thing is a refractive error itself. A refractive error which is constantly changing, then one cannot undergo refractive corrections. The power has to be stable for over six to one year, six months to one year. Only then we consider a stable refraction and it can be corrected because these are not procedures that can be repeated again and again. Third thing is any other diseases of the eye has to be ruled out, whether it is a corneal condition or it is a retinal condition or if the patient has other uh, situations like uh, having glaucoma. When a person has all the other conditions, then he is not, he or she is not the right candidate for undergoing classic correction. Uh, conditions of the cornea such as keratoconus or pellucid marginal degenerations are absolute contraindications for undergoing classic surgery. Third thing is when a patient has certain systemic conditions like any collagen vascular disorders, even then such patients cannot undergo corneal uh, ablation with laser because the collagen tissues that are present in the cornea can behave very weirdly after the procedure is done. Hence, even such candidates are not right candidates for LASIK. Certain other eye conditions like having severe dry eye or allergic conditions of the eye also needs to be ruled out before the person can undergo LASIK correction. The cornea is the main tissue that is subjected to laser. Hence, the corneal parameters have to be met before the person can be subjected to laser. The cornea should have adequate amount of corneal thickness before it can be subjected to laser.